So far in this series, we have completed our authentication and also we have made sure that the routes which are authenticated based are accessing the cookie store and checking whether the user is logged in or not. Now in my previous tutorial, I had made a mistake where I was storing the user object directly into the cookie, but there is a problem inside resources, assets, JS, in my user model. Here I was doing $cookies.put auth response. Now the problem with this is that the cookie doesn't store the object actually. So instead we have to save the object after doing a json.stringify. So basically the cookie is storing the string object. And similarly in get auth status, although we were getting the correct result because it is a true or false status that we are checking. But if we need to get the cookie object, we will get only a zero or a one. Instead, we want the actual user object. So we will have to then convert it from string to JSON. So let us quickly make that change first. So I'll go here and I will just say JSON dot stringify the response and when I'm accessing this I'll say angular dot from JSON then the cookie object rather the cookie data all right this is the change which I wanted to do as far as the authentication is concerned you know what let's keep the get auth status as it is instead i'll say user model dot get user object it will be a function obviously and inside that i'll do where user obj equals angular dot from json this return user object yeah so we will use a different function to get the user object next what i will do is add the navigation with certain user properties and also the menu links will be coming from a controller where we can define our object. First things first, we will create a global controller which will handle some of the global variable names, for example, the navigation's URL. All right, inside my resources, assets, JS controllers, I'll have a controller called global controller.js. Some of my users have said that the font size is small, so let me adjust, you know, remembered it. I will just increase my font size so that it's a little easier for you. Now, inside my global controller, I'll be mainly managing a few variables. So, um, no, I can't use this, obviously. So, fine. My app dot controller name will be global controller. I will inject scope. Now inside this, I will define the template URL for the navigation. So I will say $scope.templates. It's an empty object. And inside that, this will be partials slash nav.html. So let's create the HTML file. The file will be inside public. Oh, I think I have a template folder and then the partials. So it will be templates slash right. So inside public, I've got templates, partials slash nav.html. Partials and okay. 
So now this is going to be the bootstrap navbar code, which I'm going to copy paste. So this is the markup. There's nothing different. It's the default bootstrap thing. I'll just change the brand to my gallery and let's create a controller for the navigation as well. So I will say resources, assets, JS controllers, nav controller dot JS and my app controller nav controller i have dollar scope here as well okay i would need the user model so i will inject it here all right and then inside this i will say angular dot extend dollar scope user is going to be user model dot get user object i think that's what i have named it right okay this is not going to be a promise so i can keep it just like that and then i will say nav url this is going to be an array where i'm going to add all the urls which are required in the nav bar so with this done let's add this as ng controller nav controller and inside our dashboard html right this is our dashboard html so in this now we are going to use the div sorry ng include to have the nav html so how things work is global controller is setting uh let's just say this is not templates but scope.global it will be easy for me to refer and this will be nav which is correct this is nav which is uh, let's call it nav url okay because it's anyways depicting the url so yeah i have scope.global which is an object inside that i have nav url now Obviously, what I can do is use this inside my nav HTML. No, sorry, the dashboard HTML. So I'll say dev in that I have ng include. I don't need these properties. So yeah, that should be enough for me to let's log in and then let's hit refresh. Okay. I need to go to my terminal say gulp oh i have not updated my gulp files as well so i need to quickly do that let's go let's go to a gulp file i have added two controllers one is global controller and next one is nav controller i have not added any user models so yeah yeah that's about it let's close it and run it again okay three files have been fetched which means this is now working correctly keep it on watch it's working now let's see still working why is it i have the dashboard html inside this I still don't have this because div ng include let's just say global and check if the object is available it's not yes that's because I have not added the global controller in my application but what I will do is go into my master blade file and in here I'll say ng controller equals global controller all right that's what we wanted the template on logout this will not work because I have not included it login and then you get the drop down okay so now my master blade is not required this goes away 
let's clean up the nav bars markup i don't need the form obviously and let me see this will be coming through an ng repeat so that can go away there are two links i'll get rid of this keep it simple for now that's good enough uh, i can remove this as well so here's only one drop down one drop down and the link okay now the next step is basically i will populate inside my nav controller the nav url object and my nav.html is going to read that and render the links and before i do that let's quickly display the username who has been who has logged in now inside my nav controller i have the user object so ideally i should get user dot name all right so amitav roy is coming which means that's working and these hash will not work so these two will change javascript void zero yeah and the reason is the drop down should work okay i just realized i don't have jquery so what i can do is jquery cdn sorry i can use yeah this uh, where is my master dot blade right script tag source equals this now get bootstrap and i'll just get started this should have this is what i want so i'm loading i'm loading jquery and then i'm loading the bootstrap drop downs are working right now let's quickly remove the logout functionality from user controller right uh, what i'll do is just cut it from here and in our nav controller let's just say angular dot extend dot scope by the way i just keep functions in a separate block so that you know i don't mess up things so basically it's like these are my variables and these are my methods that's how i keep them separate i'm using the location so i'll need to inject it as well right location that's done so i have do logout which calls the user model do logout gets to the location path which is okay um i need to call this let's say on log out Oops. Uh, it will be javascript void zero ng click do log out refresh all right so i can get rid of this button it should it is inside my dashboard.html so yeah bye bye cool so basic things are in place now back to creating the link object so we get back to our controller here i will say first there's an object which has link the name is home it has a url which says dashboard it has an object called sub menu which is again an array inside that an object and this will again have url again dashboard and yeah so link which will be say view gallery Oops, right and let's create another one which is let's say add gallery 
the URL will be add sorry gallery slash add this is view right view and gallery slash add so with this done we'll need to go back to our nav.html and the first thing is displaying the links right this is the first link now for sake of understanding things let's create another object and say link test and url will be dashboard just so that you know we know that we can load multiple drop downs so yeah coming back here this will be ng repeat i'll have what is this this is nav url right so nav url link in nav url and this should then repeat twice I have some error global controller is it it says global controller is not a function what if i get rid of the ng repeat okay so there is some problem with the nav controller line number 10 so let's quickly check line number 10 is this i think i have messed up the just the same thing because it was a copy paste so right i've done that okay get back to ng repeat and then i'll have link and this is nav url so yes two of them are coming obviously this a problem which is this ng repeat is not actually inside the a tag rather it should be in the li which will mean there will be two links now quickly i will say the link should change to link dot or we are calling it link okay the naming conventions have gone wrong a bit but okay so we have the home we have test we let's keep the drop down for now we need it for reference so yes now the thing is I have single level of menu then this will work where I can at any point of time in my nav controller add one more level like this fresh yes so I will have one more menu item but when it comes to the drop down there are some changes required for example I cannot have a hashtag oh by the way I can I have to update this to something like this dot url okay so when we have the requirement of adding the sub menus as well as i told you there will be some changes required for example this link should change to javascript void so that the urls don't break now to do that let's say if there is any sub menu right then so rather ng hide if there is a link dot sub menu let's quickly check nav controller it's sub menu okay i will call this sub link in link dot sub menu and let's first see if the two items are coming they are so let's quickly say these things will remain the same link dot link and this will be this will be the url so refresh home i have view gallery add gallery although the routes are not created but okay i can see the basic stub and the last thing is oh just realized that the active link i cannot work with right now because i have not created the routes so i'll show you in the next tutorial thanks for watching